Hi there, I'm Drew McKenzie, the General Manager of Nature Conservation Margaret River Region. And today we're just having a bit of a deep dive into Sydney Golden Wattle or Acacia longifolia, which is one of the worst woody weeds, if not the worst woody weed that we've got in the Capes. Uh, it is an Australian native, but its home range is over on the Eastern States. Uh, but unfortunately, in the past, it's been really wide, widely planted in old revegetation sites and, and windbreaks and parts of landscaping. And it's since run amok in our landscape. It grows incredibly fast. It's uh, quite long lived and large compared to our uh, native wattles that we have in, in the Capes region. Sydney Golden Wattle is a really big threat to both our remnant vegetation and the habitat values that we have in the region. It can change our ecosystem significantly. It changes the structure with its tall growth and can form a really dominant uh, understory and uh, uh, secondary canopy. It uh, changes the floristics of our bushland in that we can outcompete our natives and dominate and uh, reduce the diversity. And it also changes the nutrient cycling within our systems. It's a nitrogen fixer, so it pumps nitrogen into the soil, which can promote uh, other weeds to grow and reduces the natural advantage of a lot of our local natives. As, as an Australian native, uh, for much of the year, it can blend in into our bushland and be hard to, to identify or pick out. But it does have some really distinctive features. And at this time of year, it's got the neon lights on and stands out really clearly from a distance. Uh, there's, there's really four key uh, characteristics which clearly delineate it from a lot of our local natives. First of all, it's got this bright yellow cylindrical flower. It's, a, it's an early flower. It flowers in predominantly July and August, which is ahead of a lot of our natives. Uh, it's got these bright green phyllodes or leaves with, and they've got parallel veins running through the, through the leaf. And it has uh, straight seed pods which form uh, through, through spring and into early summer. There's really uh, a couple of key uh, main control techniques for Sydney Golden Wattle. One for small uh, specimens like this is just hand pulling and um, make sure you don't do your back in when you're going to do that. Pulling up the whole plant and when you're finished with that, just making sure that it's put up high so that it's not gonna reshoot. Yeah, so the other technique that's really the bread and butter of controlling warty weeds is a cut and paint technique. So for smaller individuals, you can use something like your loppers. For one like this, we're gonna use one of these little handheld chainsaws, which are really handy in these settings. Uh, you want to cut these plants really low to the ground to reduce the chance of them regrowing. And then you can use a mix of 50% glyphosate or what we're using is this uh, gel, Vigilant which is a really neat way of applying herbicide to woody weeds. It's a gel, so there's no spraying, there's no uh, risk of uh, impacting the other plants nearby and um, very safe to use. You want to apply it within 30 seconds and um, get that on the outside ring of those plants. In some in some settings, when there's large individuals, they, they're, they're unlikely to re-sprout if you cut them very low to the ground. So for landholders that can keep an eye 
on their property and see, monitor the effects of their control, then that's an option for them. But often when we're working in real bushland settings, we want to um, use the herbicide. Important to note that for most of our other woody weeds that we're targeting, you do need to apply herbicide um, as part of the control. And Sydney Golden Wattle is a, a bit of a rarity there in, that, in those larger individuals. You can sometimes get away without it. Yeah, one of the things I think is really important to point out when you're starting to tackle uh, woody weeds like Sydney Golden Wattle is this principle of bush care, not bush scare. Okay, when you've got a really thick infestation, it's really important to understand that our wildlife still see these plants as habitat and sometimes utilize them. We know Sydney Golden Wattle often gets uh, ringtail possum drays built within them and they, are, they can be important uh, habitat for birds as well. So in that case, we recommend a staged control and we never recommend uh, cutting down or impacting a plant that is being utilised by a ringtail possum. Uh, we've just got a couple of the local or a couple of the native species that people can be a bit unsure about. And so we've got here Acacia salidna, uh, or orange wattle. And you can see that it's got these spherical flowers. It's a bit later in flowering. It's only just starting to flower now. And one of the key aspects is that on these leaves, they've got this central midrib running up and down. Whereas this uh, uh, Sydney golden wattle's got parallel veins without a central prominent um, Mid rib, and then we've got another local species here, Acacia myrtifolia, which once again has this really prominent central um, mid rib running up those phyllodes. And it's a, a later flower, and it's got much more pale flowers when it when it does finally flower in another few weeks. We're really excited to be able to launch our woody weed uh, campaign. It's going to be led up by Mike Griffiths and we're very grateful to the state NRM uh, for funding that project. So there's going to be a whole range of support rolled out as part of that. We've got a bunch of workshops that's coming. We've got a lot of uh, support for landholders. So uh, come and make contact with us if you need some assistance with your woody weeds and in particular Sydney Golden Wattle. Just finally, we've got a really handy resource on our website, this uh, woody weed guide, which was put together by local legend, Marg Moyer. Uh, if you go onto our website through our resources, you can track that down or come into our office to get a hard copy. Yeah, so controlling uh, woody weeds like Sydney Golden Wattle is uh, a really tangible uh, action that you can take on your property to help protect your remnant vegetation, our local wildlife, and prevent weeds spreading into your neighbor's property or the adjoining reserve or national park.